Hello, so we are back and this time we have a Acer Nitro to repair. Like usual, everyone with a Nitro laptop is uh, asking me to fix it. So this is a i5 and Nvidia graphics. The problem with this one, the laptop is coming from a computer shop. And I asked them, you know, if, the, if anyone attempted to repair and they said no. And I said, okay, I can have a look. Now the laptop is dead, no coming on, no power, no charging. I will say, lol, also no screws. Let's open the laptop and check. I mean, we have so many Nitro on this channel. Um, on this point, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's a shorted MOSFET somewhere. And the laptop, it's open. Uh, the motherboard is looking fine. Yeah, it's looking good. The battery is still connected, unexpected. Having in mind this laptop had no screw. And it's coming from a computer shop. Unplug in the battery. Now let's check the main power rail. Where we are checking the main power rail? Come on, you should know by now. I mean, on this laptop, on this particular model, we have charging port, first MOSFET, second MOSFET, current sensor. So we can check on the current sensor and we have zero ohms. Check that. I mean, exactly zero ohms. I try to do myself a favor and check the VRAM coil before opening the laptop. I'm not sure if I can do it. I have to take out the heatsink, right? Yeah, we have to take out the heatsink. I mean, hopefully it's not the CPU. If it's the VRAM, if it's the GPU, we can disable. But if it's the CPU, then the CPU took on like 19 volts with a bunch of amps and uh, it's nothing that we can do. I mean, probably from all gaming laptops, the Acer Nitro is the most popular one. I mean, we had so many. Probably you people are <laughs> experts on fixing Acer Nitro. You must be. You must be an expert already. And the heatsink is out. I think this is the first Acer Nitro. I'm seeing like a big coil on the VRAM. You can see this big coil. This is one coil, there are not two coils. And the VRAM coil has 147 ohms. Oh, so the VRAM is good. The CPU, the CPU, the CPU has zero ohms. Yeah. So uh, um, shorted MOSFET on the CPU. One second, I think I can see something on the board. Uh, no, 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 everything is looking fine. Yeah, I was thinking it's like I exploded most of it, but it's not. It's looking good. So how we can find the problem? How we can find the problem? The thermal camera, thermal camera is here. And we are switching the power supply down to like 0. Point eight which is fine ground here and plus here and it's taking like yeah the resistance is quite high I mean check that and it's getting higher yeah that's a dead CPU let's check together yeah and the CPU is getting hot, obviously, on the middle. Yeah, you can have like a spot on the middle of the CPU. But the shorted MOSFET, check there, you can see it, you can spot it. Yeah, it's that one. Yeah, this one. This one from here. Yeah, that one. Now, let's remove the MOSFET. Then I'm expecting the laptop to turn on with no picture on the screen.
I mean, this is the point where a uh, lot of people, they will try to replace the MOSFET and obviously nothing it will happen even if you replace the MOSFET. The laptop, it will still have no picture on the screen. We have like 300 degrees. Okay, 480. I mean, the coil solder is melting, check that. And the MOSFET is out. Yeah, looking like a fry MOSFET. I mean, check here, you can see the, the color of the solder is different. You can see it? Yeah. So this MOSFET run uh, hot. So now the main power rail is not shorted anymore. You can see nothing. We have no short on that capacitor. That's good. Good. So if we have no short, that's mean if we are plugging the charger, the laptop it will charge. The laptop it will come on also. Doesn't need a CPU in order to come on. We need like a big thing, yeah, we have, no, 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 wait, wait, this is the blue Acer, yeah, blue Acer, we need 19 volts, 19, plug in the charger, and nothing happened, I mean, it's not even charging, hmm. that's interesting, let's switch to 20, It is plugged in. And here we have 19.2, check on the screen. So the main power here. Is 19.2, 19.3. Yeah. The main power rail is present. Then why the little is not charging, huh? Pressing the power button. The laptop is coming on. That's crazy. Check that. We have like, yeah. Yeah, the CPU is getting hot. You know what? I'm curious why the battery is not charging. So I'm going to come. Let me check the current. Let me lower the current. I will come with the plus here. Because the battery is dead. The battery is completely dead. I can't believe. Yeah, no. The battery is dead. No charging. Yeah, that's why it's not charging. It's just a strange coincidence. Can we see this laptop working? You know what? It's near Christmas. So we can see some, uh, you know, magic. Like shorted uh, MOSFET. Even if you remove the MOSFET, the laptop should work fine, yeah? So if the CPU is good, we're going to see picture, which is nearly impossible. But yeah, let's believe in miracles. We've seen miracles before, but with that uh, monolith uh, uh, hybrid uh, DR MOS, you remember? I mean, I seen them shorted, and uh, yeah, the CPU was still good. I seen on one on Dell and one on a uh, Asus Vivo Vivo book, if I remember. What is one screw? Oh, it's here. Yeah. Good. Okay, let me raise the current. Uh, yeah, I know fireworks. What do you mean? Yeah, 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 like 4.6 amps. 
Let me plug the charger. Fireworks, yeah, are specific, uh, uh, you know, near Christmas time. Actually, new, uh, new year time. Plug in the battery. The battery is dead anyway, but let's plug it. Plug in the charger. Pressing the power button. The fans are spinning. The laptop is coming on. Everything seems to be fine. Apart from the fact, actually, we have like a fixed amount of current. Or not. Nah, it's a fixed amount of current. I can feel the CPU warm because obviously shorted is taking a lot of current. Yeah. Yeah, we can wait. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Probably some more reset the bias. We can wait. But the current, it's a fixed amount of current. That's mean this is brain dead. Yeah? Nothing is going on on the on the data lines. You see, that's a brain dead laptop. Fixed amount of current. 1.92. I mean, it's not necessary to be 192. Uh, usually, a laptop is charging, even with a dead CPU. But not this one, because the battery is dead. Yeah, nothing it will happen with a fixed amount of current. Sadly, I'm going to stop the video here. Uh, now you know how to check and what to check. It's a gamble, yeah? So if it's a shorted MOSFET on the GPU or shorted MOSFET on the VRAM, we can disable and still use the Intel graphics. But if the shorted MOSFET is on the CPU, it's kind of end of story. Pretty sad, I know, I know. So, uh, as you can see, there are no miracles, yeah? <laughs> no miracles. At least not with Acer Nitro. Now, I know many of you guys believe in miracles. But don't lose your hope, yeah? The Santa is real. So, have like a happy Christmas. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.